three, two, one, let's go. What's going on, people? Theater of the Future here with another movie reaction for my 100 movie bucket list challenge. Today, we are watching Office Space, and it is the 15th movie on this bucket list. Wow, we're getting, we're getting through them. I don't realize how long this is gonna take. Like, I think about it. There's 100 movies on this list. I do one a week. This is gonna be like a two-year challenge. This is kind of crazy. But uh, I'm excited for this one today. I have seen this movie. I love this movie. There are gonna be a few movies on this list that I've seen and that I really have been a fan of throughout the 37 years of my life. And this is one of them. I've probably seen it about, mm, I don't know, in my whole life, I've probably watched this movie six times, six, six to 10 times. I don't wanna say 10, that sounds like too much, but about six times, seven times, that's, is that a lot a lot of times to watch a movie? I so, cuz like I don't know it. I can't like recite many lines from it. Maybe if I think really hard I could find one in my memory, but it's one that I watch and I laugh at uh, enough to know that I really like it. So, I'm excited to watch this today to relive some of the moments, um, to remember some of the moments, to have a good time. I hope you are too. Grab your popcorn, grab your food, grab your tea or whatever. I'm gonna go grab my coffee because I forgot to set it up earlier and it's boiling right now. And I'm gonna come back and we're gonna jump right into this. Okay guys, coffee acquired. It tastes quite good. Let's jump into this, shall we? See, one of the reasons this movie resonates with me is because I have always had a very conflictive relationship with jobs. I don't want to say work because I love work. I love working hard. I have a good work ethic. It's just that jobs have always annoyed my soul because they're just not fulfilling. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's why this movie just really spoke to me, you know? On top of the fact that it's funny and great, it's just all the things that come with uh, a job life. And it begins already. And I've never driven to work, you know? I've never experienced this. I, a more of <laughs> I've been stuck in traffic, but I'm stuck in traffic like on a bus or on a train, stuck on a track. So it's the same thing. I almost feel like this, being stuck in a car, is better. Because at least you can listen to your radio. At least you're by yourself. You have your own personal space. Try getting stuck like this every single day on public transportation. <laughs> God, this is gonna be a therapy session for me. I'm just gonna go off. <laughs> you have lost the race, sir. I've worked in an office before, and to be honest, again, just like driving to work, working in an office is not as bad as, say, working in a warehouse or working as a dishwasher. Like, that's what I do right now. Oh, God. Uh, I, I don't know if it's as hard. In an office, you know, it was kind of nice when I worked in an office. Boring, yeah. Boring, unfulfilling, yeah. But at least it wasn't physically taxing like look at it it's kind of like you're just coming into your own little apartment building you know you got your own little box to live in it's kind of nice <laughs> it's kind of nice office work as long as you don't have to talk to anyone like if i don't have to make phone Hello, calls Peter. i'm good oh What's lord happening? here we go uh, did you see the memo about this oh my yeah. god okay yeah, yeah, <laughs> the memo right here. I just, this is uh, very annoying. It's almost like school. It's going to school. You got a teacher. You got a you got a principal always over your shoulder. Yeah. All right. Thanks, man. I'll go ahead and make sure you get another copy that memo. All right. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. Thank you. Milton. Hi. Uh, could you turn that down just a little bit? If if Sandra's going to listen to her headphones while she while she's Falling, then I should be able to listen to the radio while I'm collating. So uh, why? Okay. Why? Headphones and a radio are much yeah, different, my guy. You can't hear someone's headphones. You can nice. hear a radio, though. Why don't you get yourself a pair of headphones? Oh. Hi, Peter. What's happening? We need to talk about your TPS reports. Yeah. Oh, these TPS reports. You know, one of the things about working in life in general is people will always call you out on your mistakes, but they'll never call you out on all the things you've done right. And, you know, the things you've done right always outweigh the, the mistakes you make. But for some reason, well, people will always ride you on those mistakes instead yes. of saying, hey, good job today, good job today, good job today. Mm -mm. I have the memo. 
My god, someone else <laughs> called him about the memo. Why does he Michael Bolton? That's me. Wow, is that your real name? <laughs> he says Michael Bolton. So are you related to that the coincidence? Oh. <laughs> Who is this woman? She just started working today? And that no talent ass clown became famous and started winning Grammys. Uh Michael Bolton's good. Michael well, Bolton's just, good. I think go he's a good mine. like what is he saying? Hey guys. What have I What's do? up, G? Oh, we're we're going to you see that? Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> Who is this woman? <laughs> Boy, I tell you, some days. They can just leave like that? Days. What is that? See? Office jobs are easy, bro. Office jobs are easy. <laughs> so These guys are living the life right now. Hey. Sounds like a case of the Mondays. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's one thing, man. That's one thing in the workforce. People say the same thing over and over. Why do they do that? Why do they say the same things over and over again? Same thing. Must be a case of the Mondays. Must be a case of the Mondays. Like, I can't. Bloomberg's going to have me work on Saturday. I, I can tell already. I'm going to end up doing it because uh, cause I'm a big pussy. <laughs> I could program a virus that would rip that place off big time. Yeah. Damn. Big Damn. Time. That's crazy. That's kind of crazy. There she is. Dad, why don't you just ask her out? Oh, I can't do that. Why not? Bro has like, see, bro has like a, a normal job. He's got a job. He has no, he does no uh, reason to be insecure. I get thinking that she's cheating on me. So he has a woman already. What the hell? Hey, and speaking of problems, what's this I hear about you having problems with your TPS reports? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Like that guy that invented the pet rock? You see, that's what you have to do. <laughs> Start a business. You have to use your mind. Start a business. And you can make millions, never have to work again. He's right. And everyone talks about this. Not everyone talks about this at work, but you know this kind of conversation at work. People who talk about, oh, let's do this business, or, oh, we could start this business, or I'm going to do this business. I'm guilty of doing that. It was a jump to conclusions, Matt have different conclusions okay. written on it all right that you could jump to oh man i was hoping that that would be a good idea but how Worst large is this in my life, <laughs> yes. our high school guidance counselor used to ask us what you would do if you had a million dollars didn't have to work i never had an answer oh i guess that's why i'm working in Inatech. I mean, that's a hard question to answer when you're in high school. Yo, what would you guys do if you had a million dollars? Answer that question down in the comments. What would I do if I had a million dollars in high school? I don't know if I'd be able to answer that. Right now, if I had a million dollars, I'd invest a, quite a large portion of it into, not sure, I'd have to look into it. I would um, probably get myself a condo somewhere to live. I'd rent a condo, maybe. Uh, or, I don't know, I'd rent somewhere where I could have a place for a YouTube set up where I could record uh, in a consistent and efficient manner. I would also start recording music. I'd probably, I don't know if I'd rent a, a studio space or I would visit a studio space often and uh, I'd record some music. I don't know for what. I would go get DJ lessons and learn how to be a better DJ. I would do massive giveaways for my YouTube channel. I would, uh, I wanna say I'd get myself a car. Maybe, maybe I'd get myself like a really cheap car. Something that's reliable, nothing fancy, just something that I could get around easy with just to make efficiency. <laughs> hmm. That's all I can think of right now. Yeah, that's the, some of the things that I would do. It's a great thought experiment because it gets you excited for the future. Um, yeah, yeah, leave a comment. What would you do if you had a million dollars right now? He has a nice place. Check out Channel Nine. Check out this chick. Oh my Damn God. Damn it, Lawrence! Can't you just pretend like we can't hear each other? My guy can't have a moment to himself. That kind of sucks. It sucks that, yeah, that's like no privacy. I that would get that could get to a person. Oh wow. Okay. Doesn't that chick look like Ian? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. I See, hey, she ain't been over here in a while. You two still going out? Yeah. <laughs> Back then, we didn't have the internet, so this is how you got your rocks off. That's why he's so excited. Like, hey, look at this. 
we're getting to see this on TV. You know, it's not like you just open up your laptop or something and find it anywhere. Yeah, I'm doing the drywall up there at the new McDonald's. Mm. So he's a construction yeah. worker. I worked two. See, I'm sorry. I'm gonna just. This is gonna be a very weird reaction. I did two weeks in construction. Nothing crazy. It was uh, we were removing old caulking. I think that's what's called old caulking from garages of a, a complex. So we're removing the caulking and uh, reapplying it. And yo, that was tough, bro. I had to wake up at like 4 a.m. because I had to go so far away and I don't I don't drive. I had to go so far away, like a three, two, two and a half hour transit to get to work, work for eight hours, whatever. And then the two and a half transit back home. Like it was absolutely insane. I couldn't do it. Great money. But I was exhausted. The The travel was just so bad. If you have a car, it, it could be easier. But the work day, hmm, it was nice and hard because, man, you got to have some muscles, some stamina to uh, handle the pressure and stress that the tools are putting on your body. You have to be quite a strong individual to do construction. And I wasn't even doing like hard construction. It was nice that we were outside and we got to enjoy the sun and we were by ourselves pretty much so you know i could listen to music while i while i work and um you know you see people passing by and they'll say hello and whatnot and that's quite nice uh yeah but yeah that was an interesting little stint i had in construction bro i've had like so many jobs you guys have no idea does anyone ever say to you sounds like someone has a case of the mondays oh lord <laughs> no no man <laughs> Shit, no, man. I believe you get your ass kicked. So <laughs> we still going fishing this weekend? <laughs> okay, yeah. There's a nice camaraderie between construction workers. I know because I worked with a few in my two-week stint, and those those dudes were so cool, man. Those dudes were so freaking cool. And I also worked as a concierge in buildings that were being built. So I've seen, I've worked with a lot of construction workers in that capacity as well, because they're always coming around. They need to go places. I need to take them places. I hang out with them in these places while they work. We talk. And, uh, you know, construction workers are pretty cool. They still fall into that repetitive, saying the same thing almost every day kind of culture, like every work culture has that, where they're just kind of getting to this robotic personality of who they are. They have it, but it's a fun, it's a fun one. The construction workers are pretty fun. <laughs> what would you do if you had a million dollars? Great question. Great question. What's your answer, bro? Two chicks at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even smiling. He's serious. Yeah, that reminds me of uh, this scene right here. Okay, what's your favorite meal? My favorite meal is pussy. <laughs> no crack of a smile. Right. Well, what about you now? What would you do? Besides two chicks at the same time? Oh, yeah. True. Nothing. Whoa. Nothing, huh? Really? I would, I would do nothing. Nice, man. Well, you don't need a million dollars to do nothing, man. Yeah, but... Yeah, but you need that money in your back for that real comfort, or else it's not real comfort. Unless he's that just... <laughs> I have a lot to say with this. I have a lot to say with this movie. I love that. I love that he just wants to do nothing. Because maybe he needs that, you know? Some people need some time to sit back, do nothing, and maybe process themselves. Or maybe that's what he needs, and eventually he'll get out of that and he'll do something. But you can't just sit back and do nothing when you have the pressure of life on your back. So that's why the million dollars would help him to do nothing in a better way. You know what I mean? Oh my God, dreaming about work is the worst. Cause it's like, just leave me alone. <laughs> there are some ways we can make things a little more smoothly. I'm sorry, but they all look like such office workers. <laughs> a lot of glasses. And they were married, but then they switched. From the swing line to the Boston surf. Okay, Melvin. And, oh, no, it's not okay because they, they make me... If He's they, talking to him? <laughs> I thought he was talking to a family member. Is it Friday? He's trying to leave? He's trying to leave? Oh! Bro, bro, bro. Yo, this is, some, this is something I'd do, bro. Yo, you gotta hurry up, man. Uh, he's not gonna make it because he wasn't ready. <laughs> he lost him. How did you lose him? 
That's hilarious. <laughs> I thought he was going that way. This man doubled back. I can't, man. I have, um, I'm going to a rehearsal for my friend. I can't. I can't. I cannot. He didn't even say anything. Oh, and I almost forgot to go ahead and come in on Sunday, too, okay? I can't. lost some people this week. I cannot. Is there any way that you could sort of just zonk me out so that like I, I don't know that I'm at work? Dude, I think about that so much. Like is if there's a way that I could hypnotize myself while I'm at work to kind of just not be there consciously, but still automatically just do my job, but like be somewhere else. I'm, uh, I, I like I think about that from time to time like how can I do that if you guys have ever watched the show oblongs it's this dope cartoon that only ran for one season a while ago there are brothers in that show pause someone's coming downstairs I'll tell I'll, I'll continue the story in a moment okay so the show called o oblongs there's these brothers with two heads and whenever one of them wants to just zone out or be by themselves the other one would just zone out and kind of go and fall over so the other head could have privacy. <laughs> and like, I'm like, yo, how can I do that? How can I just zone out? But anyway. I want you to try and relax. I'm getting into this, yo. Hypnotize me too, boss. I'm in. I want you to relax. Let me put my cup on. It's time. I'm gonna relax. I want dude. you to relax your legs. You're beginning to feel your eyelids getting heavy. Your concern about your job melts away. Worries, cares, and inhibitions will be gone. Two, deeper and deeper. Way down. Whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I couldn't stay in there. I couldn't stay in. Even with my eyes closed, I was like, what's going on out there? This guy, he hypnotized himself, but it works. Look at his face. Look how relaxed he looks. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was so funny. You know, I am a big fan of Rob Deerdeck. Ever since um, back in uh, Robin Big, that show they had on MTV, and then Fantasy Factory, uh, I've been a fan of Rob and one of the things he says what made him successful is that he went to hypnotherapy and he got hypnotized to be successful. And I've always seen like, I've always thought like if there is merit in that, there probably is. Uh, I'm not going to doubt it. I've never tried it. You know, I've never tried it officially. I wonder if it would work. Like maybe one day I should try it out. Uh, it, may, it might work. Look at my boy, man. He looks so rested and relaxed right now. Is this Saturday? Oh, it's Saturday, he said. Yo, screw it. <laughs> what time is it? See, I can't lie in bed all day. At least not often, because you'll get to feel groggy. But again, my boy needs it. He needs the rest. Yeah, hi, it's Bill Lumber. Yeah, it's... Yeah, hi, it's Bill Lumber. Yeah, it's... Just robotic. Robotic. <laughs> it's 3.30! He slept in until 3.30. Nice. I didn't feel like it. Ah! <laughs> I love this. I love this. He wasn't even like nervous to pick it up, you know? A lot of people would be like, Oh, I don't want to pick it up. I don't want to pick it up. He didn't even care. Oh, his chick. So was that his girl that was beside him at the thing? Must be. So, hi, I'm Peter. Hi, can I help you? What are you doing for lunch today? Uh, well, and it's mm. actually right there on the The board. confidence. <laughs> the confidence. Hey, look who's back. Table for three. Just... Uh, he just gently moves him aside. <laughs> I'm gonna go next door and get a table, and if you'd like to join me, uh, no big deal, all right? Hey. And if not, that's cool, too. Okay. Hey, great. Okay. Ah, that was perfect. When you say uh, next door, do you mean that was perfect? Uh, chilies or, or flingers? Flingers. 
<laughs> that was perfect and I'll tell you why that was perfect because I was gonna say whether or not she says yes or no if she says yes great if she says no I wonder how he's gonna react but he didn't even put any of that pressure on her he just said you know what I'll be over there you want to come cool you wanna you know so that was great that was amazing I am good at dealing with people can't you understand that what the hell is wrong with you <laughs> That is breaking down, bro. <laughs> I, I didn't catch what his title, what his job title is. You are Michael Bolton. <laughs> I think you'll be okay. Would you like to sit down? Okay. He's so chill. I love, I love the, this chillness. You guys know I love chill vibes. If you've watched my reactions, you know I love chill vibes. Yeah. We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> I am. Really? <laughs> Does she know what that? She doesn't even know oh, that he's yeah. talking about the pin. All sort of, we're, we're actually required to wear. Um, <laughs> She's acting well. She's acting very well right now. Yeah, I don't like my job, and uh, I don't think I'm gonna go anymore. Hmm. Wow. Gonna, oh, so he's, he's, he's decided to just not go. So you're gonna quit? Nuh-uh. Not really. Uh, <laughs> I'm just not gonna go. I'm just not gonna go. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, what did you, just... you know, I've never really liked paying bills. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Either. This dude just freaking <laughs> gone all the way. Uh, well, so what do you want? All the way. I want to take you out to dinner. Here, let me just go ahead and... Oh, that's annoying. I feel bad for the dude, right. man. But, so, you know, if you could just that's what happens. As soon as possible. Bye. Yeah. yeah, I feel bad for him. I feel bad for him. Shit, the building on fire. <laughs> oh! Michael, what the hell's going on? Man? He actually went in. Why did he go in? It's the best day of my life. <laughs> Look at this guy. So he's going in. I, I why does he want to go in? Why does he care to go into this meeting? Oh, there you are. I generally come in at least 15 minutes late. Uh, <laughs> use the side door. My lumber can't see me. Uh, yes. Then I just sort of space out for about an hour. The honesty. The honesty. Let me tell you something about TPS reports. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, it's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. Yeah, that's it. That's what it is. It's that's exactly what it is. All right? It's now, not, if I work my it's not fulfilling. It's not fulfilling. ships a few extra units. I don't see another dime. Exactly. So where's the motivation? There is none. That's mm. my only real motivation is not to be hassled. Oh my I'm sure god. I'm losing my job, but you know, Bob, that'll only make someone work just hard enough not to get fired. Exactly. Would exactly. You, bear with me for just a second. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Listen, I'm gonna go. Uh, it's been really nice talking to both of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's like, I gotta go. <laughs> All right, I hope your firings go really well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing sandals. <laughs> you saw? Oh, I love it. I love the attitude. What's happening? Listen. Yeah, see you later, buddy. Good stuff, man. <laughs> you know what I like even more? That he's not holding any animosity within him like I am. No attitude. He's just going about his business. Like, he's so zen right now. And here we go. See? Same thing in a different environment. Same thing. Right? Like, what are you saying, man? Like, so freaking... People can get a cheeseburger in okay? So do you want me to wear more? Is that what you're saying? Like... So, Talk. Okay. I am. Now, if you feel <laughs> yeah. enough, okay, but okay, well. Some people choose to wear more. Oh, and we encourage I just. That's why I, I don't think. I don't think. Man, I, I, I could never. I never want to do like a straight up retail type of job ever again. Those right, so those jobs are. They're nice. But some of them. They're so stressful. Are you kidding me? Milton, kind has of he been? In the payroll department, he still gets a paycheck. Oh. So we just went ahead and fixed the glitch. So it'll just work itself out naturally. What the hell do you mean? Like to avoid confrontation whenever possible. What the hell do you mean? You're not gonna tell him? Uh, our boy just parked in his spot. Ah. 
<laughs> I love it. Look at him taking that stuff down. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> you see, this is, uh, it's great, but it's like a little unrealistic, right? Like someone who does this is probably getting fired. Look, I'm gonna have to ask you to go ahead and just come back another time. Bob's in a couple of minutes. Whoa, he has a meeting. Yeah, they called me at home. They called him at home. That sounds good, Peter. We'll go ahead and get out of here. All fixed up for you. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, all right. Oh, he's going to take out his aggression on this guy. Bro, he's not even getting paid anymore. Ah, he knows. This poor guy. This guy's going to blow up. I, to be honest, I don't remember the conclusion to this, to Milton's story. I don't remember what he does. But I feel like he's going to explode. First, Mr. Samir... Okay. Mm, man, yeah, here's where it changes. Okay, He's going anymore, after. Anyway. <laughs> they're both going after his friends. <laughs> so now. So you're gonna fire Michael and Samir, and you're gonna give me more money? Crazy. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Eh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like that reaction. Very plain and simple. The one that could uh, rip off the company for a bunch of money. Yeah? What about it? Well, how does it work? He's already on that tip? Right. He wants to start... He wants to scam the money out already. What if you didn't have a good job? Oh, man! That's some incentive. <laughs> that is some incentive. Would I do it? I don't know, man. Because it's hard. It's like a hypothetical. How can you... I might, I might, I might not. I don't know. If I had the know-how, I know what these guys know. I feel like there's a great chance that the company's not going to to notice it, man. I, and I and I hate the company, <laughs> and I work for them, and they're betraying me. I don't know, man. It's like, I mean, I probably wouldn't, but yeah, that's crazy. That when I saw that fat man keel over and die, Michael. We don't have a lot of time. He died? Why did he die? I thought he hypnotized himself. Let's make that stock go down. Hey. Let's take enough money out of that place so that we never ever have to sit in a cubicle ever again. That's wild. So it's funny because the hypnosis relaxed him, but he still got some sort of uh, fire burning in him. Or a little bit of, a little bit of rage against the machine. Amir, this is America. <laughs> okay, I feel bad because you know it is illegal. That's the that's the line. Is he tr is he telling yes. the truth right now? Cause I I feel bad that they're manipulating Samir into this. In these conjugal visits, you can have sex with women. <laughs> this man's thinking so far ahead into the future when they get arrested. <laughs> You see, I mean, I love it for the movie and whatnot, but it is illegal. It's scary. It's it's pretty much, it is stealing. It's stealing, right? I mean, those fractions of a cent, where are they going? Into nothing? Are they going into the ether? Is nobody claiming those fractions of the cents? And they're just taking it because it's going to be trash anyway? Like, I feel... <laughs> His face. <laughs> Absolute disgust and contempt. Like, it, it, it's stealing, right? I don't know. I just feel off about it because it is illegal. But, you know, it's not like I don't do illegal things. I do illegal things all the time. Everybody does. But, like, this is, like, next level in a way. No. No, please don't die. But then as soon as he backs out of his driveway. Oh no. Big time by a drunk driver. He's going to get a huge settlement out of this. Like oh. seven figures. Tomorrow he's going to throw a big party this weekend to celebrate. Wow. He Things go well. Can't use his body, but he's rich now, so he's happy, I guess. Ah, the famous scene. <laughs> 
Yes, yes, yes. Revenge. This is another question that you guys can answer in the comment section. Everybody has that one item or a few items at work that they just absolutely hate. For me, at this current dishwashing job that I'm at, there are these plastic, uh, I don't know, plastic containers, I guess. They're about this high. They come in three different sizes and they all have lids and there are hundreds of them and I hate them. That's, that's my item in my current job. What's yours? What item would you love to destroy? I just realized the Michael Bolton, he was in uh, Mad TV. He's like in the, when Mad TV was good. He was, so he's a dope actor actually. Hey, what were you guys celebrating last night? I'm not really at liberty to talk about it. He's honest. Yeah, <laughs> at least he's honest. He's honest as he can be. Is he telling her? Please no. No, why, why is he doing that? My thing is, where, not yours? where are the fractions of pennies going if they don't take it? That That's my question. Inatech is wrong. Inatech is an evil corporation. There he is. Our now there's the anger. Doesn't it bother you that you have to get up in the morning? And yes. A bunch of pieces of flair? Yeah. I'm not about to go in and start taking money from True. the register. True. True. Exactly. Sure? Well, you should. Pieces of flair. Made the Jews wear. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, there's a line, right? I get him. I get him. I get him. But there's got to be a way. I mean, the only way is to b build a business. Get out. Get out. Build a business. I can't cross the line into harming a company. Unless... Uh, no, I, can't. I can't. At least not in these situations. I feel like these situations, you can't be stealing. Look how happy this man is. And he can't use his body. He's so happy. That's how soul crushing a job it can be. Oh my gosh. He did his little mat thing. See? He made his money and he's doing his thing. Good things can happen in this world. I mean, look at Like what? Yeah. Right. See the twisted mentality, bro? The twisted mentality. Make sure you wear rubber, dude. What? She gets around. Oh God. All right. Yeah. Okay. Lumberg fucked her. Lumberg. Is that the? That's his boss, right? But why would you believe this dude? I feel like his hypnosis is wearing off because he's starting to get stressed. Like, what happened? Uh oh. Did it actually happen? It happened? Oh no. Okay. I feel the dude. What is wrong with you? That was like two years ago. What did you know okay. him? It was a while ago. It was a while ago. It's two years ago, so... I hope he can relax. I hope he can relax about it. It was two years ago. If it was like last week, if it was last week or a couple weeks ago or like a month ago, I could, I could feel his anger more and his frustration, but it was two years ago. Oh, that's a horrible dream. Okay. Ew. Ew. Yeah, I could see how that could stress a dude out. I've been there. I've been there, in a way. I guess I should explain how I've been there. I won't get into too much detail. Worked at this restaurant, really had a crush on this girl, but she slept with like two other dudes at the restaurant, and it really, it crushed me. Yeah. So that's it. I'm just going to leave it at that. Oh, it worked. It worked? So it's supposed to take two years. They're supposed to take it out slowly over time. So they would still have to get jobs anyway in the meantime. I'm wondering how much money a day were they supposed to be getting? Cake at work. My gosh, man. Oh, I know this part, yeah. Poor guy. This is why you just take your piece and walk away. <laughs> take your piece and walk away, man. <laughs> oh my god, he keeps saying it, but no one's paying attention. What are you- I can't believe he made a point to come down here to, to badger this guy. Oh, Milton. Oh, Milton. That's the last straw. That's the last straw, he said. Uh-oh. Laundry.
Here it is. To conceal. See this? People couldn't even go on the internet to find information. These guys had to find a book so they could find out how to launder money or what money laundering is. They had to find a freaking encyclopedia. That's crazy. That's crazy that, that they couldn't figure it out. They would have to ask people or find it in a book somewhere. Oh! Another guy from Mad TV when it was good. Why the hell did I do this? I've never done anything wrong in my life. <laughs> Meanwhile, life. his neighbor can hear yeah, everything, bro. We were losing our jobs. <laughs> look at us, we're... Lawrence, you awake? Yeah. You want to come over? No, thanks, man. I don't want you fucking up my life, too. Ouch. Ouch. I was really thinking that his neighbor was going to be able to help in some way. I don't know why I can't just go to work and be happy. Like I'm supposed to, like everybody else. No. Peter, no. No, don't be complacent, Peter. Hey, what's going on here? Get a room, you two. <laughs> this guy doesn't turn off. He does not turn off. He's just customer service everywhere he goes. It's in there, eh? It's in there. Oh, he regrets it so fast. <laughs> I thought they were gonna figure something out and then it's like I already put the letter in. Okay, but we gotta get it. This man regretted it instantly. Go off, Milton! Go off, Milton! Yes, Milton! Glad he came back. The door's open now. The letter's right there. What's gonna happen? No! Milton! Milton did it! He actually did it? I thought like maybe he saw cops there and he was gonna be afraid and he's like, Oh, they're there for me already? Nope! I think Milton burnt the place down! And why? Did he go into the office and not find his stapler or something? <laughs> Imagine! You're looking at your office place, burned down, surrounded by everybody, and you just start laughing. <laughs> Goodbye, TPS reports. There's a red stapler. That's hilarious. Hey, look who's working the job! Oh, he's working with his boy! That's crazy. So he's working now. He's working, uh... <sighs> kind of like me. I, I had an office job, and then I started working jobs that were hard labor. Hey, man! Where are these guys at now? It's work. I wonder if the money burned up. It would be a shame. Yeah. Did they get it? Did so they get sure the money? Get sure, Where right? did the money go? Oh, well, he had the money in the checks, but guys take care, right? they should right. still be in an account, right? I mean, yeah, what the heck? Making bucks, getting exercise, working outside. Yeah. Just, uh, tell yourself that in 20 years of doing this. Damn, that is a... This is an everyman movie, eh? This is really an everyman movie. Milton took the money and burned the place down. Excuse me. Oh! <laughs> He's still not getting any respect. I thought he would get some respect. He's still not getting any respect. <laughs> this guy is... He's harboring a lot of baggage. <laughs> Alright! Oh, okay, we're doing it like this. They're bringing the characters in really quickly, so we'll just start off. I mean, I talked a lot during this movie, so I'm not gonna- I'm gonna try not to say too, too much. Peter loved his character. Uh, you know, I just relate to him so much, man. Me and Jobs, I just so conflicted about them. I understand how I think the best way to have a job is to for you to feel fulfilled by it. Sadly, maybe there aren't enough jobs or people can't get into those spaces where they actually feel like 100% fulfilled. So they have to find other ways to make themselves feel good. I mean, go out drinking after work. Um, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Me, what I do is, uh, you know, I come and I'm trying to build something outside of work so that maybe I don't never have to go to a job again. Let's differentiate 
work and job. So I never have to go to a job again. I like to work. I just like to work on things that fulfill me. Peter is an interesting character because I don't 100% agree with all of his philosophies. I agree with him on the work thing. I would never take it as far as he did in when it comes to getting back at a job or anything like that because I don't care about their company. Like, I'm not going to change the whole world, right? I just don't want to be a part of certain things, right? So it's not like I'm going to attack the thing. I just don't want to be a part of it. So I don't agree with him in attacking the company and stealing money from it. I'm going to try to make money in my own way. That's why I'm stubborn. I don't want to go to a job. I want to make money my own way. I don't want to steal from the job. I just want to make money my own way. So I don't really agree with him in that. I, I'm really happy that he found some sort of peace with going to work because again, I might try to build businesses. They might not work out. I might have to just work at a normal job for the rest of my life. And I think it's important to find peace with it. Like right now, I just go to work. It's stressful, it's monotonous, it's tedious. Traveling there is the worst part. Traveling to work for an hour and a half to get to work is the worst part actually. I think I'd be a lot more okay with it if I could walk to work in a half an hour, even an hour. If I could walk to work in an hour, I don't mind walking an hour as long as I don't have to you know, take public transportation. That, that stuff is stressful. Um, but I'm just trying to f be at peace with it, you know? Um, there is a scene in Enter the Dragon, Bruce Lee, where he's fighting in a compound, all these people, and I'll show the clip, and then and then he gets trapped, like doors close all around him, he's trapped, there's nothing he could do, so he just uh, folds up his nunchucks, and he, it's actually my, uh, I don't know if you can see that, because my screen doesn't stay on, but that's, and he just sits there, he folds his nunchucks, and he sits there, and he waits, he waits, because what is he gonna do? He's not gonna, he can't escape right now, He's, he's just trapped in this place. That's how I see my job or jobs in general. You're just trapped in this place. But you need to be there to, so you can make some money. So I just try to go in, be at peace with where I'm at, and silently wait. And Shawshank Redemption is another thing that helps me. I have a goal. I'm slowly chipping away at the wall. Watch the Shawshank Redemption. Watch the movie in general. But if you also want to just watch my reaction to the movie, it's fantastic. But I'm just slowly... You know, every day, just chipping away at the situation until eventually cracks will appear and the hole will be big enough and you will be able to escape. At least that's my philosophy. So I just try to be more chill than Peter. Although I love this dude's character and I'm happy that he found some peace in construction. <laughs> you know, at least he's working with a friend as well. You know, so he has a little bit of guidance and it can make things a little bit easier and a little bit more happy on the site. And like I said with my earlier construction story, construction workers are pretty cool. They can be pretty cool, you know? Although they do have their own work culture and where things get repetitive, people say the same stuff like, hey, happy it's Friday, or I don't know, what the hell. <laughs> but you know how people just say the same things over and over again? Oh my gosh, oh, something funny. So I just started dishwashing again. And uh, by the time this video releases, it'll have been a few weeks, but my first day being there, because I had worked there before uh, and I left and now I'm back almost a year later. Uh, and they rehired me just because, you know, I'm a good worker. Um, and there are good people uh, that I work with, amazing people. But the first day, four of them came up to me at different parts of the day and said, like riding a bike, huh? <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, just because, you know, I've been there before. Again, I've done it. I'm, I'm the only dishwasher there, right? It's a very small crew at a very fancy restaurant. Um, and so I'm the only dishwasher. I'm there when the restaurant's open, I'm there. And four of them at different parts. One one came up to me like riding a bike, huh? I'm like, yeah, man, yeah, that's like riding a bike. An hour later, next person comes up to me, riding a bike, huh? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I, don't know. I remember, I just gotta remember a couple things, but it's all good. Another hour later, hey man, how you doing? Like riding a bike. <laughs> I was like, yo, this can't be real life. I have to be in a simulation. Ugh. Again, great people. It's just funny how in all different work cultures and workspaces, everybody just kind of, it's like they're just running on a script where they just say certain things over and over again. And, I, and they, it's like they don't notice it. I notice it. 
and I probably fall into it too because I guess it's easier just to fall back on scripting instead of having to think of something original to say in every single interaction because it could be hard and draining and you're already interacting so much all day. I mean, they're chefs and and the the wait staff, you know, they're always communicating all day and wherever you're at, you're always communicating all day. So it's like, oh, you just kind of to your coworkers and to your familiar people, you just kind of ha- run on a script. It's so weird. Anyway, I'm babbling on. It, I, I like the way the movie ended. I guess it's just very realistic in that sense where they just found more uh, other jobs. They just went to go to work. And uh, that's that. And that's life. And uh, that's why it's pretty cool the way this movie ended. Samir, you know, Ajay, na na I, na na I. <laughs> Kidding. Na I do. Poor Milton, bro. Milton. <laughs> oh, those guys at work that you just kind of overlook. I don't know. I've never been one to kind of ignore people like that unless they're toxic. Then I will give people at work the cold shoulder, like hardcore. Like I remember I worked at UPS and there was this woman there and she did, uh, you know, we were just throwing packages from one conveyor belt to the other. And there's a woman here that was doing data entry. Um, and they're like right behind us and she was mean bro she was mean to a lot of people very snidey very uh like what's an example of something she'd say okay so i i think that we had to like give them certain packages or whatever so maybe someone would give her the wrong package and she'd be like what are you doing do you have eyes do you need glasses do you wear glasses or something can you not read she'd do stuff like that very sassy snarky way anyway i ignored her ah uh... <laughs> Or I would snap back in little sassy ways. Eventually, you know, we became good good work buddies, you know. Uh, I tend to be good at kind of breaking people down like that. But some people can't be broken down. They're just nasty to the core. Being to- sassy was just her way. I don't know. Sometimes you got to communicate with sassy, toxic people with a little bit of sass and comedy back. And then they start to soften up to you. And she was cool in that way. But usually if someone's toxic, I just ignore them. But not like guy like Milton. Like I'd, I'd probably be like, yo, Milton, how you doing today, bro? Are you good? All right, man. Yeah, I'd probably treat him like Peter treated him in a, in a sort of way. Uh, I love how it worked out for him. <laughs> I just, it sucks because his personality never changed. He's still super needy because he never got what he needed at work and whatnot. And now he's on vacation and he's annoying the people there who are working on these resorts, which is not good. You know, I wish he... I wish he could relax a little bit and I hope he learns how to relax but maybe being pampered at these resorts will you know fix that little issue in him but it's really funny how it worked out poor dude man poor poor dude you know fortunately in most a lot of the jobs I've had uh, I've had fantastic bosses my bosses are always really 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 cool I can't really think of a boss that I've hated Ah, my boss at Ticketmaster was amazing. My boss at this restaurant that I worked at was amazing. My boss currently at this restaurant I work at is great. I can't think of a bad boss, see? I just pushed that crap out of my mind. This guy would be so annoying as a boss, just hovering over your shoulder, the nonchalant way that he talks, condescending. Horrible, man. Yeah, man. All right. I guess I'll end it there, actually. I kind of want to see how the credits play out. All in all, great movie. Loved it. I got to vent a lot. <laughs> um, I got to vent so much. I probably talked way too much. I hope this video wasn't too long. But yo, I know you guys must feel me. You guys must feel this movie, right? This is like a is this a cult classic? Is this what you would classify as a cult classic? Like, is it only a tight group of people who know and love this movie? Are we that small in number? The people who out there who have strong contempt, contempt for jobs but i'm gonna end it here uh i hope you guys enjoyed that reaction i did because i love this movie the next movie is gonna be fight club yeah it's gonna be fight club another movie that i love ah oh, it's, it's interesting the difference between my reactions to movies i've already seen and movies i haven't seen i've already seen fight club i love it i might have seen it more than i've seen this movie so i'm looking forward to that next week i hope you guys come back for that until then my friends, be well out there, be kind to each other, go into whatever stresses you have in your life. Remember before you walk into them to be chill, be aware, 
look around. Don't overreact. When something strikes you and you want to get triggered, take a deep breath in. Think about it. And then, uh, you know, walk away. Or react in the appropriate way. Think before you walk, my friends. But until next time, smash that like, sub if you haven't already, and share with a friend. I can't believe I'm ending this before the credits uh, run out. <laughs> anyway, GG's. Shove it!